Let's talk about the Frank Starling law of contractility. It's the same thing as Hooke's law of springs. Well, think about a spring. If we take a spring and we stretch it, the spring pulls back. So if we pull the spring a little bit, it pulls back with a little force. If we pull more on the spring, it pulls with more force. So the more we pull the spring, the more the spring pulls back. So here's my set of weight scales, kind of like what we measure the vegetables with at the grocery store. And there's a spring. If I pull on the spring, notice the scales go up. It returns force. So when a spring is stretched, it returns a force. And the more we stretch it, the more it returns force. Well, something about springs is there comes a point where we pull them too much, the spring breaks and doesn't function properly, the heart's the same way. So the Frank Starling Law tells us that the more the heart fills, the stronger the force of contraction. The getting up and sitting and moving around, breathing, changes the filling in our heart. And the way the heart compensates for that is if we don't fill it very much, then it doesn't pump very hard. And if it fills a lot, the heart pumps with more force. So the Frank Starling Law tells us that the more the heart fills, the stronger the force of contraction. Well, we can put that on a curve. I tried to make this curve simple. So just like springs, a healthy heart, more filling will result in more force. So here's my preload, and as the preload goes up, as the volume of the heart, the volume of blood in the heart goes up, well, the contractility of the heart goes up. And the heart pumps stronger, the more it fills. And so this is the normal part of the Frank Starling curve. Well, there comes a point where the heart becomes overstretched. It loses its capacity to return force. And so right when we start getting on the wrong side of the Starling curve, notice that more filling does not result in more force. And then on the other side of the Starling curve, more filling equals less force. And this is the case in congestive heart failure. People with congestive heart failure, they're on this place of the Frank-Starling curve, or more filling results in less force.